waking up the masses. When you wake up in the morning, it's your baby mama's favorite astrologer. Like, can I get five more minutes? Scrape that crust off that third eye and tap in with Hood in the morning. Every morning. From Atlantis to Egypt, you and I tapped in with the realest nigga on the internet. The Hood Mystic. The Hood Mystic. Good morning, Grand Rising. It is The Hood Mystic. You're listening to The Morning Shift on CHUO 89.1 FM. This is your source for hip-hop and R&B in the morning. And today is Wednesday, April 28th, 2021. You all know what time it is. It is time for Mystic Math. And this is where we talk about the collective energy reading according to the phases of the moon. You are just listening to Virginia Beach's finest, The Clips, with their song, Grinding. Now let's get tapped into this edition of Mystic Math. Happy belated full moon to everyone out there. As you know, or maybe you don't know, the full moon took place yesterday, April 27th, and now we're dealing with the phase that comes after the full moon, which is the disseminating moon. The easiest way to understand a disseminating moon is a wake-up call. And when it comes to our personal issues, what energy have you been hitting the snooze button on? And if you have been hitting the snooze button, it's time to wake up. All of our exercises that we discuss in reference to moon phases is to better ourselves so we can be better people, not just for ourselves, but for the world, our partnerships, and in our families. Let's assume that we are all in the mood of bringing out our best self. Now, the next step is to channel all of the positive energy that you have to other people. And you do this via your talents, gifts, or abilities. When you're on stage, or when you're at work, or when you're working on a project, do you feel relaxed and confident, or do you feel uneasy or unsure? You are so amazing at all that you do, and probably you'll never get the credit you deserve. However, you shouldn't run away, nor should you work harder to get credit. The idea is if you are feeling underappreciated or undervalued, this is the time for you to take care of you. This is your wake up call, right? This week, make sure your self care is top notch. Just in case you have to be the shoulder for someone else to lean on. Make sure you save some extra cash just in case you need to give freely. And also, make sure you tell the people that you love that you love them. The moral of the story with the disseminating moon is that we can't look at our lives and forget that our life is an integral part of the community. So how can we assist ourselves in being the best us this week as opposed to hitting the snooze button on our calling and going to sleep on our destiny? Please remember that you are a vital part of the fabric of life and me personally, I'm just the messenger of that message this morning. There is another messenger, however, Herman Melville, and he once stated, we cannot live only for ourselves. A thousand fibers connect us with our fellow man and among those fibers as sympathetic threads, our actions run as causes and they come back to us as effects. Well, Herman, that is my story and I'm sticking to it. Stay tuned for Snoop Dogg featuring Butch Cassidy and Superfly with Losing Control off the Last Meal album, which was released in the year 2000. Find me on Instagram at The Hood Mystic for spiritual meals, aka daily mysticism, or give us a shout out on CHUO 89.1 FM on Instagram or shoot us a text at 613-562-5967. Peace.